Good evening everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my video, please smash that like button. Please do subscribe. Why every time I go outside it feels like a war zone? I don't know. Yet another incident. Alexa. Alexa. What's the Sorry, something went wrong. Wait a minute. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 8.35 p.m. Right, guys. I don't know what's going on, but it's ridiculous and stupid. Nothing I can do about it, but we just write it down, note it down, and send incidents to the police. Yet another one. So, since this afternoon, I, I went for a walk this afternoon. It was really, really quiet. It was really, really nice. I walked around without any hassle at all this afternoon. Um, the evening walk isn't usually, it's not been too bad. And you think, you think with the rain, there'd be less people about, right? You think with the rain raining and coming down, that it would have been less busy than yesterday evening. It was not. It was bad. No, this is why I walk on the field as well. This is why I've taken to walking on the field and not going around where the blue crane is. So I'm going to I'm going to tell you what happened. So I. This afternoon I had a pleasant walk. I came back home and no trouble at all. There was, some, you know, no no incidents, no no disturbances, nothing, no no upsets, no anger, nothing. It's a lovely afternoon walk. I came back indoors and I just sat down, made myself a cup of hot chocolate, I've been watching stalking videos, really, really bad ones, and one of these videos, it was a, 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 um, a woman who'd gone out with this bloke, and his ex was not stalking him, his ex started stalking his new girlfriend, so this mad nutcase of a woman started stalking her her ex's girlfriend and she was sending her dead mice in the post blood she was at, at, this woman was living in fear for her life she thought the woman was going to poison her cat and there's this stalking helpline, you see, because a lot of stalkers say that the police don't do anything to help them and they're struggling to cope with the stalking by themselves. So there's a stalking helpline, I believe. And a lot of these people phone up the stalking helpline and the stalking helpline interacts with the police and helps get these stalkers put in prison where they belong. I mean, sending dead mice in the post. That's extreme, isn't it? And threatening to poison someone's cat. And the police haven't been doing anything, so people ring the stalking helpline, and the stalking helpline interacts with the police and helps get these people, the mental help, help they help they need plus some of them go to prison so i was watching stalking videos before i left the flat quite nasty bad ones um i don't know if alexa knows the stalking helpline if anyone's interested alexa what is the stalking helpline number from Elbacom. If you or someone you know is currently being stalked, or fear that they might be, 
Please call the National Stalking Helpline on 0808 802 0300. So that's something I'm going to have to consider doing. Because this is getting out of hand. Right? So I was listening to stalking videos. I don't get cross anymore. If there's any incidents outside, I don't yell and shout at people. It gets reported to the police. Simple. I'm not going to give myself a stroke and a heart attack because some idiot wants me to lose my temper outside and is using me as a play toy. And it is coming around from these flats and outside. It definitely is. It is. And I've already said to the police that someone's gone down my YouTube videos and says they're stalking my YouTube. I've told them that. So as soon as a video gets uploaded, off goes the stalker into the YouTube, reads and listens to what I've said, and then reenacts it outside. They're mental, crazy lunatic. Also, did I mention that I smelt cannabis this afternoon when I came home as well? Before the guy came in upstairs, somebody had been smoking cannabis. The same usual place round the corner, when one of my sons came to visit me, Someone had been smoking strong cannabis, really strong. It was about, uh, about two months ago now. My son came down and took me to Rochester High Street for a sandwich and a cup of coffee. And um, we came back home to a fucking, it smelt like a cannabis farm round the corner. So before he gets in upstairs, there's a stench of cannabis in the same place it usually is. Really strong hemp. And I'm get, coming into my flat giddy. And my eyes are watering. So I make myself, like I said, a hot chocolate. I make myself a sandwich. And I watch stalking videos. And he came in upstairs just after I got in, I would say about half past three this afternoon, he came in upstairs, he's a bloke, a short, stocky, black-haired bloke. I don't have to keep saying, I'm a woman, I'm a woman, I'm a woman, I'm a female, I've got tits, I've got no cock. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. How many more times? So I came in in a flurry of cannabis. And like I said, I fiddled about indoors for a bit. And then I have to go out to walk Max. And it's normally not too bad in the evening. It's normally quiet. But someone had a nasty plan for me this evening and it's going to backfire on them because I don't get cross anymore, I report it all to the police and I've got an incident number uh, from yesterday and I've added what's happened this evening to that incident and I've also got camera footage of that Doberman pincher jumping over me and Max and I've now got more footage of another dog trying to follow me up the street, hounding me all down the road. It's all on camera. I think his dog was called Pippa, this last one. So I went out quietly. And I could smell McDonald's in the building. McDonald's. Three nights in a row, somebody has had McDonald's. And McDonald's isn't cheap, it's expensive. The Happy Meals have gone up to over three pounds, haven't they? The Happy Meals. So somebody's been splashing around, around the, what, 
perhaps they, they've broken their cooker. Perhaps they can't cook food. Three nights in a row, McDonald's smell in the lifts and in the communal areas. McDonald's, three nights in a row. You've got to remember what my mum said this morning and all her, all her voicemails are catalogued and the police can listen to them as well. They can. So I went out, I've had cannabis smoke this afternoon, McDonald's stench up my nose, goes out to the flats and it's raining, it's raining. So I put my coat on, put the hood over my head and I walk up towards the field, but I don't go on the field. There's two men talking to each other. There's a dirty, dishevelled man with an old man's cap on in a pair of dirty shorts talking to another man. So two blokes talking to, uh, to each other and one's got dirty shorts on and an old man's hat. But he's a young bloke. <clears throat> then I... Wait, I, I don't want to talk to anybody. I've been accosted and abused by an old man. I don't want to stop and talk to dog walkers, male or female. So I, I wait till these guys have gone. Then I walk in the middle of the path. And all of a sudden, there's somebody else behind my back. So I walk into the road. And then there's, t there's, that, there's a couple walking with a huge dog on a long lead, taking up the whole path. So I'm in the road. Then a car comes behind me with its headlights blaring. So I get back on the path. And then another couple's behind me with dogs barking. I've never seen so many dogs in the rain. So I think, right, I'm going to walk Max up towards the crane like I did this afternoon because it was quiet. And then I, there's another, oh, there's an old man with a cat this time, an old man. And there's these, this dirty, curly-haired white dog. And I pick Max up and put him under my arm because of what happened last time. And I'm, I'm, I'm well away from this dog. And the owner lets this dog chase me all down the path into the road. Pippa! Pippa! He's not doing anything to get it. I don't shout. I don't get cross. The dog's been caught on camera and so is the bloke. And um, hopefully I will get a police officer out and they can go through the video footage. Max is shaking in, under my arms. He's shaking. He's terrified. He's tiny. And he, he now, when he sees a dog, now Max... Max is worried he's going to get pounced on and he's defending himself and I don't blame him. I just taught Max to be calm, right? And these horrible cunts with large dogs are letting their dogs go after my little chihuahua. Now he's, he's defending it. Every time he sees a dog, he's, he's, he's like thinking right that dog's going to go for me I'm going to have to defend myself I ignored the bloke because I have been touched unwanted I've had unwanted touching from an old man and I don't
don't want to speak to dog walkers. I came back home with a frightened chihuahua. He was shaking. And I've never seen the flat so fucking busy. Yesterday, in the fucking hot sun, no one came out of the flats. Nobody. Today, when it's pouring with rain and it's fucking colder, I am smothered by people. Somebody was having an Iceland delivery to these flats. Food again. The blonde lady was coming out of the flat. And because I'd ignored that old man, I'd ignored him. She turned round and put her head in the air. And I'll tell you why Max barked. Because she's got a pug dog, right? And he has been attacked by by two or three dogs over the past seven days and he was def he was growling because he was scared goes into the flat right goes into the flat and there's two black females going into the lift. Two black women going into the lift. And I'm upset. I'm, I'm shaking. This dog was chasing me down the path into the fucking road. And the flats are buzzing with people and they've can smell the McDonald's, the Iceland food van. I've explained to you that I've got food in the fucking flat. Loads of it. I've got money if I want to go to the co-op. I've got a, a food shopping delivery this week. I've got one. What is wrong with you bullying fucking cunts? What's wrong with you? You're sick. You need help. Does it need 10, 10, 20 of you picking on me and my little chihuahua? Does it? And then I get someone saying they're short of money. And a dirty old man has let his dog near enough jump all over me. Really? I'm short of money. Is anyone going to go out and get me some? This is getting out of hand. I'm not a fucking prostitute. And it's not funny to let your fucking dogs jump all over me with their wet paws either. don't even know who that guy was. I've never seen him before. But, I, you know, someone telling me they're short of money. Yeah? What do you want me to do about it? Every text, every phone call, every fucking voicemail from my mother, every communication is being written down or screenshotted and sent to the Kent police and you will be found and you will be prosecuted whoever you are and there's more than one of you as well you fucking bullies look how tiny he is you fucking crazy look how small that dog is the cat's bigger than him do you see my cat is bigger than that dog 
You're fucking bullies. That's what you are. Disgusting, filthy, evil bullies. You belong in prison or a mental hospital. Look at look how small he is. I hope the police fucking catch you and put you away for, for a long time. Monsters. See you later.